I, I am really privileged and honored that we have um, amongst our myths Mona Rehani Al Nasser, Yay. Yay. who will receive the Philanthropy Pioneer Award. Mona actually is embedded in the UN, yet she's outside the UN. And I can assure you, you really don't want to be inside the UN. The UN will teach you all the bureaucracy, and then you'll get lost into it. And I want to tell you one thing which says it all about Mona. She's, she's been doing peace, sustainable development, women's empowerment for decades. But here's a quote. I am standing up for children who can't stand up yet. Peacefully and by educating men. So all those men in this room, even though we know we are committed, we need to teach other men. And Mona is guiding us on that. And Mona, we are honored to have you here. Thank you. Bless you. First, can we take a picture with you? Yes, with Wendy. Happy Women's Entrepreneurship Day. Yeah. <laughs> Wendy, bravo. This, this movement is going to be contagious and it's going to be all around the world. And trust me, one day it's going to be approved by the UN. It, they're going to announce this day really in all over the world. So thank you very much. And uh, thank you for all of you. Thank you for the honorees. And the most important, I have to tell you that women's rights are human rights. There is no negotiation regarding that. You have to remember all the time that it, women's rights are human rights. The key is education. It doesn't have to be educating children only. You have to educate your friends, family, husbands, boyfriends, all of them, you have to educate them that women can make it. They have to respect us and believe in us. And thank you for my husband for believing in women. But you have always to make sure to, to include men in this process because they are part of the problem, but they are part of the resolution. Thank you very much. Mona, thank you so much, and thank you for all that you do for humanity. You're very special. So I'm going to slightly change the order because of the logistics and commitments of other people. Um, I'd like to invite Sarah Bareilles to receive the Music Pioneer Award. Sarah is a six-time Grammy nominee. She's a singer, songwriter, producer. She's even composed a Broadway play called Waitress. I, I want you to know you should go and see it. It's amazing. Sarah, thank you for being here with us. I know uh, you might have to leave early, but there is an exit fee when you leave from here. Uh, and I, I also want to say that after you speak, we want to take a group picture so that we don't lose you. So first we take a photograph here. Thank you so much. Um, I'm a very nervous public speaker, and I was really, really nervous about this. And it has been really inspiring to listen to you wonderful ladies and insights. Um, and to just be a part of this collective of people who are coming together to celebrate the accomplishments of women and to lift each other up. I find that to be incredibly moving. Um, and I'm going to keep mine really short and sweet. Um, I started writing music as a little girl because I felt really lonely and alone. I was 
awkward and chubby and I got teased and I was kind of miserable. And I went to music to sort of soothe myself. And that language has over time become the most deep connective tissue that I have to the world. And that's been the big takeaway for me. In, the big takeaway that I, can, that I can say about my career and my journey as an artist is that the things that make us vulnerable and the things that make us unique are the things that bring us together. And the more brave, the more courageous you can be with sharing what is vulnerable and what is scary and what feels too personal to share are the things that will connect you to the world around you. And that is the kind of world I want to live in, especially right now as we are all kind of reeling from the way things feel. So um, I just want to say thank you so much for this incredible honor. And um, I put my, my thesis statement in a song, and I'll sing it for you now. <laughs> say what you want to say and let the words fall out. Honestly, I want to see you be brave with what you want to say and let the words fall out. Honestly, I want to see you be brave. Thanks, everybody. All right, thank you. Wow. So, uh, Wendy, I think, please. Please come up. I'm going to invite all of our awardees to stand up. We take a group picture with Wendy in the middle. Lucy, where's, uh, uh, we need Lucy. She's coming. So maybe Lucy. Could could you? Yes. And Lucy can perhaps sit on the chair. Whilst Wendy, would you mind sitting with Lucy in the front? And then we'll take it. Thank you. That's it. One more, yes. Yeah. Well done, thank you. Now it's Judith. It's me. Yes, I know. <laughs> Can we put uh, Judith Thank you all. May I request you to go back to your seats? And, oh, somebody's left the glasses. Is it Sarah? Oh, there you are. Okay, good. Organized. Very good, I see. <laughs> so the next award is the Accessories Pioneer Award. And that goes to Judith Ripka, who's the founder. Hey! Okay. How many of you have not heard of Judith Ripka? 
Yeah. Her jewelry is in stores around the world. Yeah. And and all the fine jewelry you hear about is produced by Judith Ripka and we are delighted that Judith has graced us to receive the Accessories Pioneer Award. Judith, thank you. Thank you. Amir. We'll, we'll thank take you. a quick picture with you sure. and then you. Okay.